friends and welcome. I am so excited about this course because this is one of those courses that's going to inspire and empower you. And in this course, we're talking about posing. And posing is so important, right? Because it's one thing to connect with your subjects. You need to connect and all of that, but you also need to direct. How do we direct subjects? How do we help them to change the way they stand or hold themselves in order to express something unique? Now in this course, we're gonna dig into some really practical topics which will help you work with anyone in any situation, any kind of flight, anywhere in the world, really. All right, let's talk about anchoring. What is it? Why does it matter? How can it help us pose our subject so we can create better portraits? Well, in order to talk about that, I wanna share a few stories and of course, show you some examples so that you can really understand how all of this works. When it comes to capturing a good portrait, you want to have that vibe, that energy that you're bringing to the scene. Whatever energy you bring often will be reflected. Yet, sometimes your subject can be nervous. They can feel uneasy, unsettled, unsure of what to do. Now, one of the ways that we can help them is by anchoring them, providing them something to hold or to touch or some thing to sit on, and you'll see some of these examples in a second. That is an anchor point that grounds you, that connects you, that gives you something to do. And that sense of security is often so needed in portraiture. And really, before I think about posing, tilting the head, or shifting weight, or changing shoulders, which we'll talk about later, I really first start thinking about anchoring. It's a foundation. It's a foundation of everything. And a lot of times I photograph people who aren't comfortable being photographed. And so anchoring is my go-to, go-to, go-to posing technique. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and look at my slides here and click through them and show you maybe the first slide here of a very unanchored moment. Here we have Steven, very cool guy, cool car, up in the mountains in Santa Barbara, but he's just sort of like, uh, I don't know what to do. And that's what happens when you point a camera at someone. Uh, remember that whole freeze or fake it thing? They just don't know what to do, where to look, how to stand. So if you say, hey, Steven, what if you go ahead and lean against the back of the car, put your hands on it, cross your legs, look out of frame, all of a sudden, oh, he's, he's anchored, he's connected, he's grounded. It feels like a meaningful moment. Let's look at another example different situation. Here we are in a boat in New York, New York skyline in the background. Subject just looks kind of disinterested. And I say, hey, what if you took down one of your arms and put it on the railing and you can see what that looks like here? Much, much better, more interesting photograph. Here's another one. Buddy Chris Burkhardt. Chris, amazing photographer. I'm sure you're probably familiar with him. And he was going on this really cool bike expedition off or across Iceland. And so I wanted to get some photos and videos and stuff of him before he left. And so I wanted him and his bike. So there we are at his house in his front yard by his garage. And he brought his bike out and he, he just put it on this little rack. It just looked goofy, right? And so I need to figure out a way how to connect him to this scene. Also, my camera's too high. When you have an eye level or above camera height, it can make your subjects look small or short when you have a wider angle lens like I had here. So what I need to do is to change my camera height, move in closer, but also give my subject an anchor point. And you can see here he is, anchored, grounded, ready to go on this really epic expedition. Now, how did, how did I get there? Let me rewind a little bit, because remember I said it's always a process. So first of all, you take the first image and you realize, you know what, <laughs> this isn't very good, but that's okay. I know a foundational technique I can use, it's anchoring. So I say, okay, I need to get him anchored. So I remove the bike rack, have him hold onto his bike. He's anchored, but not enough. He's kind of just putting his hands on the bike versus leaning into it. And the composition, of course, needs work. There's too much space in the frame. So then I get up close, lower camera angle, a little below the eyes. He's almost looking at or down us just slightly. So it gives a sense of like a little more heroic, a little more strong. And everything about this image, I just absolutely love. Now let's compare it again. So again, this is where we came from and this is where we are going. So. Anchoring isn't just something you do with models, which was one of the images. It isn't something you do with friends. It isn't just something you do with um, 
kids. It's something you can do with everyone. It is literally so valuable.